hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Lily. if you are new here hit that subscribe button please and also turn on the notification bell that tells you every time i upload a new video of this video it's going to be a chit chat session while i try to lay my beautiful wig right here <laughs> so guys um i bought this wig uh, just before i left nigeria and because as i time i bought it i had braids on and i didn't make up my mind to change those braids until like very last minute so i couldn't try it on and all of that but i felt like the color was going to suit me like suit my skin color and also i liked the style so this is what it's supposed to look like but this is in black so anyway um today's the day that i get to try it on and see if i like it also this will be the first time that i'll be training off my lace by myself like usually most of my wigs uh once i buy them i give them to somebody to you know treat and then trim off whatever they need to trim off and things like that so let's just hope that i do it right i have these small scissors here that i'm going to be using for that um yeah so before i get into all that part um so i know you guys are very curious a lot of people have been asking me did you bring your family and things like that so as you may already know by now if you have watched some of my videos i came to the uk alone for now and i'll tell you why you know i'm sure by the time i explain you understand so let me take my time to cut this lace first so i don't get distracted and then we'll come back to the story this small scissors came from my sewing kit <laughs> oh my god i'm so scared but let's see we'll try so i'm almost done i just have this little bit left uh i hope i'm not too far from my camera guys if you notice that the light keeps getting brighter and then going down and all of that is the sun no it keeps rising and setting so just in case guys i'm done just in case you notice that the quality of the lighting keeps changing you know please just ignore um just cut up okay so this is what we have <laughs> so i have a mirror here that i'm going to be using let me just show you what the insides of the wig looks like. So it has all these small combs and all that that you can use to, you know, fix it into your hair. And I know, before you guys come for me, I shouldn't be using a black wig cover, um, wig cap, rather. Um, but I thought I bought the brown one, right? Like something like the lace that I just cut off. But somehow, I can't find it. Like even before I left, when I was doing my packing and all of that, at some point I noticed that I didn't see it. I just thought it would be somewhere maybe when i unpack my things but i've finished unpacking and i can't find it anyway so i'll be using this um hawaiian silky miracle worker <laughs> so um this works with curly hair straight hair even your natural hair and all of that it's a 14 in one moisturizer whatever so i'm just going to spray a little bit of it on my hand i'll show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like uh rub it and then you know rub it on the hair because it's very dry uh yes i also have oil which I'll be using. So I'm just going to try to make sure that this goes into every strand. Okay, so to my story, while I'm doing this, I'll talk about why. So um, if you have watched my other episodes, uh, because hopefully by the time you're seeing this, you should have been able to catch up with all the relocation story episodes and all of that. I talked about how I started my relocation plans since like last year, even though I wasn't, then I was probably trying a different country and I was still looking at the same route which is study route but for a different country and that time the plan really was for me to go first settle down and then invite my family over and all of that because i felt like the fact that i'm going to study it means that the first few weeks or the first few months could be very challenging for me settling in a new environment having to go to school and things like that so to be very honest as i last year i was planning to go alone and my daughter's passport was also going to expire at, at about the same time that my passport was going to expire as, as i last year i didn't feel the need like the urgent need to renew my daughter's passport as at the time I was renewing mine since they were going to expire the same day. So it's not like I even waited for mine to expire before renewing. But I knew that because of the plans I had, it wasn't I was I wasn't going to be able to use the old one when the time comes. So I had to renew it, right? And then fast forward to this year, when I got my admission to the UK and all of that back in July, I decided that okay, now it's time to go and renew our passport. My son's passport doesn't expire until next year november so his own was still good my husband's passport doesn't expire until sometimes next year i think middle of next year so it was still okay the only problem we had was my daughter's passport and we tried to initiate the process and then that was when i was told that um kids now need to have ni and number it's something in nigeria it's called the national identity number something like that more like the social security number of maybe us 
and all that. So I said, okay, not a problem. We'll go do the NI number. And then by the time they went to, like, by the time we took them to go and do the NI, because then I decided to do for both of them, even though my son has a passport, or it doesn't matter, like, if kids have to have NI number, then both of them have to get registered, right? So I took both of them there. And they captured and all of that. But the number was supposed to come out, like, within 24 hours, and somehow it wasn't coming up. And that was when we found out that their server was down and all of that. And this was the time that uh, they were on holiday and they needed to go to my parents' place in Akure for the holidays. So I told my dad, maybe when they're in Akure, you can also help me take them to an NI office or something like that to check the registration and all that. And they were in Akure for about three weeks and the server never came up. So this happened the whole of August. Don't forget, I got my admission third week of July. So all these processes happened like late July, early August. So my kids were in Akure for like three weeks. The NI server never came up. When they came back to Lagos early September, yeah, I decided to take them to the head office for the NIN, as the NIMC in Alasa, Lagos. And it was still the same issue. Server was down, server was down. I was wondering, how can something so important to a country, because there was a time that they were forcing people to do this thing, and it was looking like there was going to be a deadline and all of that. Like, how can a whole server for something so important be down? And this has been over a month. It was really annoying. And because of that, we couldn't start a passport initiation process, you know? So it was really a big deal. So at that point, I decided that, okay, so I won't let that, um, that delay my own process. So I had to just keep going on with my process that the worst that will happen is, even if I have to come here before them, they can always join me. Anyway, let me try this one now. So I have a mirror here. So I'll be looking at this mirror. So I'm going to try to tilt it a little bit, even though I like the fact that the side part, I'm not used to my side part being on my left hand, I'm used to it being on my right, so it's looking a bit weird, but I'm going to try and move it a bit just so that it's not in the middle, but just a little bit close to the middle. Yeah, I think I like it. Let me just use my wearing front so I can see. Yeah, this looks good. Really nice. Anyway, um, so I think what I'm just going to do now is, I thought I was going to need this, but I don't think I do. I was able to actually trim the lace well enough and I don't need the glue. So I'm just going to use this wax stick to, you know, take care of the flyaways. I don't know if that's what you call it, but. Why do I feel like this is going to be my next um, everyday week? I actually like it. I like the color. I think if it, if it matches the color of my skin. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so moving on. I'm done with that. So I think I can focus on my story now. So um, after after about a month plus, we were able to get someone that said, okay, you can walk around it. You will have to come to the house capture them and all of that so and we had to pay something that was supposed to be free we had to actually pay money like i won't say a lot but money for it and the guy came to the house he captured them and then you know he uploaded it on the system usually you have to give it time for it to now reflect the number but they give you like a tracking number um so he did that and then we realized that he made a mistake in the spelling of my daughter's name that took like another two weeks for him to rectify <laughs> so anyway it wasn't it wasn't until middle of september that we now had the ni number that we could now use to start the process of getting my daughter a new passport so the question was now where can we go get the passport everywhere i knew like usually i do my passport in a career where my parents live and within one week it's out but my mom's passport that um, she even tried to renew back in july wasn't out yet as at September, even though we paid for the express, you know, when you have to pay extra money so that it comes out like within a certain number of days. Well, months after it was still not out, so I already knew that I was not going to look at a query. We looked at Ilori. Ilori was also one of the places where you can easily pay extra to get it to come out faster. Same thing, they were even saying that 
there wasn't any early capture days da, da, da. so somebody now said okay go to shagam i wasn't looking at Lagos. i never look at Lagos when i want to do things like that because of the crowd and all of that, that even when you have to pay the extra for the fast track process it costs way more than when you do it in other states so i, I never really look at Lagos. and i even had people in Lagos that were saying that oh they've captured for like months now and their passport was not out like just imagine you having to go through so much hassle just to get an international passport that's a story for another day anyway um so eventually we paid somebody in shagam and the next thing the person is saying is you guys won't capture until november and i'm like what this is september and you're saying she will not capture until november then when she captures in november when are we supposed to wait for the passport to come out like anyway the guy said oh that was the earliest he could get and we had already paid him and there was no refund because it's not just about you paying for the fast track there's a certain amount that will still go to the government and then the extra is for whoever is taking care of it um after I, I, like another week we eventually got somebody else in ado who now said okay i can get it for you guys in three weeks or less plus or minus one extra week so i just said okay that's fine that means by ending of october a passport should be out and then we had to pay another money fast track again <laughs> and i know in one of my videos um the day i actually picked up my passport from um the tls office was the day i had to take my daughter to ado to can capture so she was able to get us a capture date a week after we had paid her and I had to go to her door, get her captured and all of that. So right now, we're just waiting for the passports to be ready and then they can apply to come and join me. So anyway, um, so that's the reason. And because of that, my husband and my son also had to stay back because there was no point. I, ca I can't leave just my daughter. I can't come with just my son. How am I going to do school and all of that? So um, it's always best when the whole family comes here. I have more support back in Nigeria. I can help my husband with taking care of my kids than bringing one kid here when I have to go to school or work and things like that. So anyway, you guys get it. So um, that's why I didn't come with my family to the UK. Um, they'll be joining me very soon. I miss them. I talk to them every day, especially my kids. Like I talk to my husband every day, like standard. But my kids, I have the time when they come back from school or just before they leave for school and all of that. So I try because of that, I even had to make sure that my nanny has like a good um, smartphone where I can talk to my kids on video. She has data always and all of that. So anyway, um, yeah, so it still gives me time to, you know, at least settle enough before they have to join me. And then by then I'm already used to the system kind of. <laughs> and yeah, I think that ends my story time. You can drop a comment in the comment section if you had similar experience or if you just want to, you know, console me or, <laughs> or patronize me or whatever. Yeah, you can do that in the comment section make sure to engage the comment section i'll be there to respond to your comments and all of that and yeah if you made it to the end of this video you know give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't turn on that notification bell very important that tells you every time any of my videos go live and i'll see you in my next video bye